Rhythms Maya. Music, please. I don't know. Our other celebrity judges, the Capuso Diva and international singer artist, Acel Santos. And of course, the renowned musical maestro, Mel Villena. And of course, center stage is hosted by none other than Asia's multimedia star, Alden Richards. Thank you to all our judges and hosts. Yes. And you may now all take your seats. And because we want to get a full experience of what center stage is all about, May we please call on our friends from the media or our contestants to come up here on stage. And what kayo mag-alala kasi madali lang to. Uh, members of the press po na nandito ngayon, magandang umaga po. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, media one po ng uh, center stage. So, walang tulak na bigin dun sa ating uh, dalawang uh, contesa. Sa halos mabalansan na ng hininga, mga kaibigan. <laughs> Yun nga. <laughs> Pati si hindi. Pati your experience po nila yung first round actually ganito po yung basically what will happen sa first round ng center stage so may dalawang uh, uh, pair of singers na maglalaban for the title and as they sing the song may uh, be the voters po tayong mga uh, nakaset po dyan ano po sila mga voting pads as they press as they press the uh, button kung sino gusto nilang uh, mag uh, umabante magre-reflect po yun dun sa light na inaapakan nila and then, so, nakabante ang ating uh, contest of number one. Yes. At tatanungin natin ngayon ng judges kung ano masasabi nila sa naging performance. Ang mukhang hirap na hirap. Hirap na hirap ka ba eh? Alis natin. Alis sa... May pressure. May pressure? <laughs> yes, Pops? Yes, yes, Pops. pressure, grabe. No, it's nice that they're both enjoying the the song. Uh, Siyempre, uh, it's very important when you're performing na Ina enjoy mo rin yung pagkanta mo, di ba? At uh, bagong, kung masasabing bagong genre ito ng show na i-host mo for the first time, what can the audience expect from you? And uh, ano ang gusto mong makuha ng mga, lalo na mga batang manonood ng center stage? Opo, kasi uh, after po ng Bet ng Bayan, that was my last actual hosting job. As well, aside from it, bulaga po na araw-araw kong ginagawa. Pero before po kasi, co-host po, a side stage host po ako ni Ms. Regine Velasquez. So ngayon po, I'm gonna be hosting Center sta Stage as one of the main hosts. And uh, I'm very proud of this show. I say it was originally, it's, a, it's an original concept of uh, of GMA. So talagang pinag-isipan po ito ng mga sinsinan para mabigyan po ng bagong flavor yung singing contest. And now po yung unang uh, roster po ng contestants na ipapakita natin is for the kids. Pero not necessarily naman po na we're limiting the contestants sa mga bata. For now po, mga bata muna. And then later on, we will progress into a much older uh, age group. So, yung center stage po, na-expect ng mga bata dito, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be inspirational. And mas na nahuhubog po nito eh, napupush po nito yung pagiging kuya ko sa mga bata. Siyempre, mga bata po yung contestants natin, we want them to be inspired and motivated na even though hindi sila yung makuha sa contest na to, this will not be the end but uh, the start of their journey as singers. So yun po yung encourage namin na maging uh, image ng show sa mga bata, especially to the parents. Thank you. Thank you po. 
And for Bethel, Bethel since senior ka rin naman, ano yung pwede mong wisdom or advices na maibibigay sa mga contestants ng mga bata or sa mga batang aspiring singers in general? Yun po, nahiya po ako dun sa singer po, pero salamat po sa inyo po nga. Ang concert pa rin ba? Hindi po, kasi po ngayon po kasi, pinakaroon sa masabilidad ko po, kasi po si Adel po yung, before siya yung na, parang na, journey host, ako naman po yung journey host po rito. So, kanimita po, mga kasama po yung mga magulang, yung mga guardians nila, pero nakakasap po yung mga bata, sabi po sa kanina nila, kung hindi man sila pagkata ngayon, dire-diretso lang, huwag pumitaw sa pangarap, hindi ibig sabihin na pag hindi ka pinalag yun, eh, tapos na, dahil baka pa sila, mas lalo na lang na pag ipayuhin nyo ka ng craft, yung tanong nila, dahil hindi natin masasabi sa mga susunod na mga podcast pa na ba na salihan, dire-direction lang. So, huwag lang pumitaw sa pangarap and always pray para maabot natin yung mga pangarap. Eh, po yung madasgos na sabi ko sa amin. Thank you. Thank you, Pa. Alright, next question will be coming from Sir Lester Ramos. Hello po. Uh, my question po is for Ms. Fox, Ms. Isa, and uh, Sir Mel. Uh, question po is, uh, is it hard po ba to, to, to judge or to really the kids than the adult performances mga contestant po? It's hard to judge, in a, especially in a, in a contest. Napakalira po kasi Siyempre, there will always be one winner and there will always be the others who will always get disappointed. So, mahirap rin siyempre yung trabaho namin. We don't want to hurt anybody, we don't want to disappoint. But somehow, this show, makikita ko, we will be more encouraging. We cannot probably stop, lalo na pagbata, di ba? Sa, sa may edad na, nag-disappoint na sila. What more about children? So we're gonna be, we're gonna try to be very careful to not, kumbaga sa, hindi ka, ayaw namin ba disappoint sila to a point na titigil na nila yung dreams nila sa pagkanta. We wanna be as encouraging and as uh, inspiring to the children as much as possible, which is a, it's a pretty hard task to do. But uh, sana ma-achieve po namin dito sa center stage. It's not just about uh, saying negative things. It's not just about getting ratings to say negative things. But it's it's also about, uh, kumbaga sa, titignan din namin kung paano kami makaka-encourage sa mga bata. For most of them, this is exactly what they want to do. They want to be the best singers. They want to be popular singers later on in their lives. But for others naman, this is just a hobby, a passing thing. So hopefully, us as judges, eh, makatulong kami doon. And of course, uh, center stage as the show, and I said this before, hopefully center stage will be a stepping stone wherein they can figure out exactly what they want to do later on in their lives. How to Ms. Teresa and Sir Matt? Is it, uh, most of your experience judging the kids so far? Well, so far, Nakita naman namin, yung new first episode namin, napaka-hohusay nila. And uh, like what Ms. Pop said, um, it's harder actually to judge kids because ito yung nagsisimula pa lang sila, you know? Now, when they hear negative words, baka mamaya, ah, parang ayaw ko nang kumanta ulit. So, oo, baka dalhin na nila, di ba? So, we want to make it as enjoyable as possible na if you don't make it, Today, then maybe the next time. Because bata pa yung mga yung raw pa yung mga talent niya. Pwede ko ito pa sila mag-improve through time and experience. And that's what we want for them to enjoy the stage and not fear the stage or make the stage a para competition lang. Yeah, but at the end of the day, one will, di ba? One will succeed. Yeah, at tuli tuli yung pagkanta. Yeah, and we want to be careful with our words, especially. Kaya meron, uh, we are encouraged, judges, na meron kami notebook, may baon kami mga iba-ibang pamamaraan ng pag-i-encourage. O kung meron mga kami nakitang or narinig na hindi maganda, pa paano namin sasabihin in a nicer way. Tapos meron tayong psychologist, right? Eh? Yeah, we do have okay, a okay. resident psychologist here. Para po sa mga bata. And for the parents as well. We have a challenge for the day, si Ate Hazel, that you have to be careful with what you say. 
kasi make or break. Lalo pa, eh, well, it's easier kung mga adults. Kasi nasasala na nila. Directa, no? Pero hindi okay. nun. Oo, pero since mga, sa mga buwan pag-iisip, we just really have to be, uh, we just have to choose what we, uh, what we say. But, of course, being honest, and uh, for try to sa aming uh, gusto kong ipaywating sa kanila, so that they will also, you know, uh, do the best that they, they can and uh, reach for that goal the best way they can. And uh, yun, very encouraging. But you know, what really helps us also is uh, what the production has done doon sa sights and sounds na nakikita uh, natin. Because it adds up to the, this is a singing contest, a performance contest, na of course, lalo pa sa akin for a musician, and really very particular doon sa mga notes and all that. And it's really exciting. Kaya lang, which is parang yung may game, parang uh, gano'n na natin. Yung fun factor, that like, level up yung fun factor. So it also, uh, you know, perks us up. It builds up the excitement, yes, diba? Yes, it does. Yung excitement na yun, and then uh, we feel it, kami mismo, uh, kasama doon sa fun factor na yun. It, it, well, it's kind of, Easier for me to be Easier for... Uh, iba judges before we judge. Ako, ako mismo pinapanood ko yung stage at yung sound. Eh. Kung, kung sino yung mag-move forward. So it's pretty much like a game. It's a game. Okay. For lalo na dun sa mga kabataan na manonood din na to, diba? Right. So that adds up to the excitement of the show. And the fun. Yeah, that's what I love also. Thank you, Claude. Alright, our next question will be from Miss Bob Glorioso. Hi, good afternoon. For the judges po, um, are you allowed po ba to give tips do sa mga bata after uh, the show or after you have judged them? Or actually, yeah, the show. Actual na namin siya ninagawa yeah. habang nasa show po. Okay. And ano naman po sa palagay niyo, uh, bawat isa po sa inyo, uh, top three tips na pwede niyo mabigay sa kanila? Ako, ako muna. Una, una, I've never joined a singing contest. Isel has joined it, so she she would know more than me. But if you were to ask me, uh, I know it's tough. Iba kasi yung kumanta ka in front of a lot of people. Pero iba rin yung kumanta ka in front of a lot of people. And yet, yun na nga, you're out there. There's a goal. There's a prize. And you have to win. And there's only one winner. So I think, mas gusto ko ma-encourage yung mga kids to really have fun on stage. They're very young. So this should serve, again, as a beginning. Most of them have probably also joined other contests. Pero sana sa center stage, mas mag-enjoy sila. Yes, there's still a winner. Yes, there's still a prize. Yes, there's still a goal. But I, we want them to be as relaxed as possible. We want them to also enjoy and make friends with the other children that they're competing with. They are children. Let's not forget that. So, sana yun yung ma-invite natin, di ba? Yung competition siya, pero backstage, madami silang mamimit at magiging kaibigan. At the same time, the minute they set foot on this stage, uh, and they're here on center stage, mag-enjoy sila. And they just show kung ano man yung talagang style nila, character nila, at talent nila. Well, for me, I joined several contests. Uh, failed some. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. But I'm sure if I'm going to be able to do it, I'm going to be able to do it. And I said, I, I, I will never join a contest again. Because it hurt me. I was not a bit there back then. So I understood. So I said, I'm going to be able to do it. Maybe I, I, I'll build on my strength. And do not be able Diba? So, that's one. Two, kanta lang ng kanta, ensayo ng ensayo. Kasi uh, habang tumatagal, gumagaling ka sa iyong pagkanta, meron kang mga certain placements na discover uy, kaya ko na to, dati hindi ko kaya. And then, third, uh, never stop learning. It doesn't stop there. Pagka na, mga tutunan mo ng bumirit, that doesn't mean you're the best. You have to eventually uh, mean what you say, di ba? Bawat letra ang hinahata mo, meron kang hatid na kwento. And that's what captures me as a judge. Yun, importante sa atin. 
Ang sure marami pang points si Sir Miller. Oh, hindi, nasabi ko na. <laughs> nasabi mo na yan. And, uh, ang pinaka-importante sa akin, having uh, been part of uh, a couple of singing contests before, mm -hmm. yung idea na kailangan makakunik yung kumakanta sa akin. Yung sabihin na, kasi I have that capacity na I'm, I'm focused on uh, the performer, and then as a shot of you, ganyan, kailangan ma-affect ma mo ako. Or, uh, in other words, like ang pangalan na sinabi ni Hazel, na yung lyrics na sinasabi na nandun sa loob ng song, kailangan nakikita ko yung istorya na yun habang niya kinakanta. So actually, that's what gets me. And but, then, of course, but you... But it's rare kasi kung mga bata, kung bakit hindi pa nila nangyayon. Kaya yun yun. Yeah, yun. Gusto kong sabihin na ibibigay kong tip din yeah, para yeah. natin sa mga hunger or mga parents. Yeah, yeah. And that choose the songs na, yeah. alam mo, before, I would, uh, I would, uh, the people, the parents would call me and then they'd ask kung mga, ano ba yung mga tips na pwede nung bigay sa aking anak at kung yung sasali, sumasali sa ganito, and now may ganito. Okay, isa lang ang sasabi ko eh, normally sinasabi ko na, yung kanta ko na titiliin nyo, dapat naiintindihan ng baka. Kung hindi nyo naiintindihan, kayo as parent, kailangan i-explain nyo sa bata kung ano ibig sabihin nung kinaganta niya. Kasi isang pupuha ng emotion yung bata kung hindi niya alam ang ibig sabihin. So, I encourage the parents or yung the, manage, the manager or the hunter na you get those songs, kung hindi niya, kung mahirap titiliin, i-translate mo muna doon sa, sa bata. And then, from there, baka makakuha na hugot somewhere. Dahil kailangan maintindihan niya yun eh, yung song. Yeah. So, mas importante po ngayon na mas na parang magaling siyang mag-storytell uh, through songs. Hindi yung yes. pagbirit lang. Of course, yung birit kasi talagang uh, uh, para pang ano na yun eh, kikan na yun eh, visually at saka sa stage, hindi ba ba? Birit, pag may biritera, it's really impressive, right? Impressive na yun eh. But I think singing, ako naman ang feeling ko dyan, because I'm not a biritera, singing, tama si Mel, it's not just about the high notes, it's also about the emotions and the feeling that the audience will feel pag narinig na natin, lalong-lalo na itong mga bata ko, di ba? And you'll be impressed ha? At their age, I actually don't know where they're getting their emotions. I mean, how can they possibly have so many emotions na napapalabas nila through a song samantalang ang babata pa nila? So, ma, yun, ang, yun pa lang nakaka-impress na. Aside from their notes, high notes, and their stance, and the way they carry themselves, and their overall performance, it's already very impressive. But yun nga, emotions, Somehow, they already have it. So, saan po kaya nila nahubugot, nakukuhay ng ito? Thank you, Paul.